What is up? Um, yeah, so today I just want to give a quick update on my peptides protocol right now. <clears throat> so yeah, kind of segueing off my last video of my TRT protocol and just my experience with that. Um, I have been on these now into my third week, so I, I did want to make this video before I started, but um, still kind of learning the, the YouTube ways, the growing things with that. So um, anyway, this video is here now. So um, along with my TRT um, and just my health journey that I've kind of discussed in my previous video there, um, you know, one thing I've been really interested in is peptides. Um, and so I've, I've kind of just dove into the world of peptides and just trying to been educating myself on them as much as possible as well. Um, a big thing with peptides is obviously they're, I don't know if you want to call it legality, um, but they're, they're kind of like a gray market. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a substance or, or what have you, but um, so kind of purchasing them or, or getting them, especially in Canada, is, is a little bit weird. Um, I, I would say most doctors probably don't even know what they are. Uh, and so I, I, and even if they were, you know, quote unquote legal, don't know if I can get prescription for, for the ones I want anyway, or whether or not they'd be available at a compounding pharmacy. So anyway, I'm not going to get into how to get these things or where to get them or whatever. That's not really the point here. Um, I really just wanted to make this a short video to let you know what peptides I'm using, why I'm using them. And, um, I'll do a follow-up video kind of after the protocol. And so, um, so yeah, the, into my third week now of using both MOTC and retitrutide. Um, these peptides aren't generally kind of used in, um, in unison like I'm using. Um, kind of got my own hypothesis for, for using them together. So MOTC, um, if you're not familiar with it, um, definitely recommend looking it up. Um, it's a mitochondrial derived peptide. Um, so in a nutshell, I'm not obviously going to, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional. I'm going to deep dive into, um, all the medical studies surrounding this peptides. There there's copious amounts of information on YouTube already in, in um, the literature if you do want to, to deep dive yourself. Um, however, kind of in a nutshell, MOTC, um, I would say most people are using it just as a kind of an energy booster or even for metabolism upregulation. Um, it's going to help improve both mitochondrial function and mitochondria biogenesis, so increasing the number of mitochondria you have. Um, there will be people that say use other peptides um, kind of as a, as a run up to MOTC to kind of improve the kind of stability structure and health of your mitochondria. Uh, so I was running, or I am in unison running CoQ10 and PQQ, uh, and was on those for several months before kind of jumping onto this. So, uh, this one I was probably most excited about just because mitochondria in general has been really exciting for me to just learn about this past year. Um, so yeah, so I'm injecting or I'm, I'm dosing my MOTC at five milligrams per week, uh, doing it in two separate injections of 2.5 milligrams, uh, same day and time as my TRT protocol. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited about doing that. So we're third week in. I'm going to be running it for at least three months, probably five months. Um, I bought enough for five months. So that is kind of the goal and, and just kind of a C in terms of an energy. I can tell you already, actually, after three weeks, there, there definitely is, I don't want to say substantial, but a noticeable effect on energy, especially on the day of injections. It does have a pretty short half-life. So they do say around that four to six hour range is when you're going to kind of see peak. So um, definitely gym performance since injecting this has been you know, not a substantial jump, but definitely energy levels are, are, are noticeable. So, you know, not that I'm looking for endless amounts of energy, but, um, you know, if this can help sustain that kind of performance boost, uh, it's definitely going to be something that can put in the toolbox. Um, alongside this, I do use methylene blue as well. Um, so kind of trying to stack as much mitochondria synergy of, um, um, substances as I can to kind of get the most out of them. So, um, anyway, so definitely recommend looking into MOTC and I will do a follow up on how things are going after about three months there. So, uh, alongside that I'm using, like I said, retitrutide. 
this has to be probably one of the more popular or like the hottest peptides out there right now, obviously being a GLP-1 or in that GLP-1 family. This one being not necessarily, you know, quote unquote available on the market yet, but obviously on the uh, backdoor market, it's it's definitely pretty hot right now. Um, it's very expensive and it's very hard to get in Canada. Um, so I was lucky enough to kind of get my hands on some here and, and start a protocol with it. So my thinking here, or my hypothesis here, and again, um, this is just my from my research and my literature, or at least my understanding. But with retitrutide and MOTC kind of in, in combination, what I'm hoping to see here is I'm not necessarily looking for a, a massive amount of fat loss from retitrutide, at least not right now. Um, however, beginning to dose it now, getting my body used to it, you know, you don't want to be when you are looking to go into the fat loss, you don't want to just be jumping into a big dose and, and you can kind of see a lot of side effects um, if you do do that. So right now I'm starting at one milligram a week every Friday um, with the hopes of both getting my body used to it right now um, and just seeing hopefully a, kind of an upregulation in metabolism as well. So what I'm hoping to witness is, is increased fatty acid oxidation. Um, and so what that will help is with if, if it can mobilize fatty acid uh, and then the mitochondria being upregulated through the MOTC, I'm hoping they kind of just help my body be a little bit more metabolically flexible. So um, instead of always going straight to glucose and then having a bit more friction when my body's going over to fat, glucose, fat, and glucose, um, this is going to just help mobilize body fat for energy and then this is going to burn it a lot quicker. So Again, in the three weeks since I've been on it, um, so I pretty much, I had about a six month journey of, of fat loss specifically only. Then I took about a month off um, to kind of just reverse diet, get my kind of metabolism back up so I could start eating again, get, get my stomach used to eating again. I was eating in a calorie deficit for, for a number of months. I lost a good amount of weight. And, and if you want to check out, um, you know, my Instagram handle to kind of follow that kind of day by day journey. Uh, I'll link, I'll link that below. But so in the three weeks I've combined these two peptides, I've, I've pretty much doubled my calorie intake since my deficit. So I'm up, up into about 2,800, 3000 calories. Most days, obviously some days where I'm just not home and, and kind of struggling. And I mean, by the end of the night, I do try to kind of <laughs> stuff my face with a bit more snacks so that way I can try to get up into that 2,800 plus calorie range, which a guy my size, that would be about maintenance. But when I was in the calorie deficit, I mean, I was down to 1,500 calories uh, to burn fat as fast as possible. And so my metabolism did downregulate to adapt. Uh, so again, the reverse diet, bringing that back up. So, but eating at that calorie surplus or trying to eat in a calorie surplus, I still haven't gained any weight. I'm pretty much sitting at about 194 for two plus weeks straight. Um, so, you know, not that I'm expecting to gain a ton of weight uh, anyway, but you'd think going basically doubling your calories for three weeks straight, you'd see something. And, and so these things have been able to kind of keep up with, with kind of burning those extra calories along with my normal gym routine and my 10,000 steps and, and everything. Uh, with that. So I know that what I can kind of tell just through anecdotal experience with that is that you maintain the use of these right now. So I'm up trying to upregulate the metabolism. Um, if I can be at a, you know, a 2,800, 3,000 calorie maintenance diet um, with these peptides in use, once I do go to cut um, and then in another couple months and then go to cut back down body fat, um, you know, then dieting will be a lot easier. And then I can start chopping down to 28, 26, 24, 22, 2000 calories. And then I, you know, being in a thousand calorie deficit and still being able to eat 2000 calories is a lot more manageable than trying to eat 1500 calories, um, especially at my size. So anyway, so when I do a follow up, I'll let you know how things are going after probably three months. Um, and if you guys have any questions about these peptides specifically, uh, again, I, I'm, I'm not a medical professional, but um, I can kind of give you any information you want to know just from anecdotal experience. Um, so yeah, that's me. We'll check you in the next video.